Hello everyone, as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm ready to drive down to West Sussex to go and find my hike along the Monarch's Way. I did say Mike. Now, one Mike is not necessarily a mile as we found out over the years so I haven't quite established how much a Mike actually is. Well, I'm ready to leave. I'll see you there. The Monarch's Way is a 625 mile long footpath that follows the escape route of King Charles II after his defeat in the Battle of Worcester in 1651. Charles II was defeated by Oliver Cromwell in the final Battle of the Civil Wars on the 3rd of September that year. He was only 21. For six weeks Charles II was pursued by the Roundheads until he fled to mainland Europe. But following Cromwell's death, he was invited to return to England and on the 29th of May 1660 he was eventually crowned as king. The Monarch's Way runs from Worcester via Bristol and Yeovil to Shoreham, West Sussex. The Monarch's Way is a remarkable trail that offers us a glimpse into the past. The route takes us through picturesque countryside, quaint villages and historic landmarks, making it a truly immersive experience for history lovers and nature alike. Say hi! <laughs> so always choices. Okay. How okay. many mics? Uh, this nine. nine. Always nine. Always nine. <laughs> Bonus. Double, double figure nine miles. So from Houghton to Arundel. Yeah. As short as you like. Okay. Options all the way. Yeah. We're going to go the short way for lunch and the long way home. Yay! Okay, Very let's good. get going. <laughs> One day, I'll make it in. <laughs> oh, it's that 1st of April until the 28th of October, so it's literally out of Okay, so maybe I'm making it. Yeah, make it. Maybe I'm making it. The sun is really hot. Yeah, so when you're out in the wind. Way. <laughs> I still stick with that sedan too. <laughs> the thing is, four trusty advisors <laughs> carrying him all over the road. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. I always imagine that he would be walking there for some reason. Of course not, right? <laughs> It was just really surprising that they didn't catch him. Well, yeah. Well, they recognised him, that's over. There's no pictures, was there? No face. Yeah, that's true. But again, you see a guy all dressed up with four people carrying him <laughs> over the Monarch's Way. And all that it wasn't called the Monarch's Way at the time. <laughs> and the music blaring is very clear from about a mile away, I'd say. <laughs> but they know that he stopped at a pub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's not where we thought it was, it's in that little. He's got a secret room. Next room. Door. He's sat on his horse at the back, seeing it all go horribly wrong, and realising that if it falls, he's going to be executed. Oh, yeah. So he then decides to run for, to France, and rather than using the M40, A34, <laughs> M3, 27 right. to Portsmouth, decides to do 680 yards. How did he manage to track him down? How did they know that he's been down those roads? See, that's the thing, they followed him in, the, in where they thought he'd been. He was very clever. Yeah, that's his garage where he used to keep his statues. <laughs> <laughs> It's right at the top of the valley, you can see it all below. He did achieve greatness, going on to star in Doctor.
deck ran on to the back end of Swan Lake. I can see the lake down there. No bothers. Oh, that's a small incident. <laughs> <sighs> they always smoke my way. I mean, I jumped down at the ground. Get the sheep. <laughs> Go to the other one and say, hey, you see those two behind us? Yeah. Wanna come say hello? earlier kind of makes you wonder how he enjoyed the ride <laughs> I didn't die before he got Because we went on the Monarch's way, 
we got to stop here. <laughs> George and the Dragon. Oh, this is beautiful. Well done. I had to take a picture because it was so beautiful. No. Better. In the winter, this is all flooded. Wow, that's a lot of sheep. Hello. Look at that one. Then they're moving. Look how few people have been on this path. Look, they can't be bothered. I don't think they're going to move. <laughs> no, they're not moving. Hello. I'm a little bit more attached. Hey. So you need to continue around, yeah? We walked all around there. Many mics, and we came down this way. And now to the last three and a half mics. Three? How many mics we got? Uh, three. Three mics. Three mics. Oh, three mics. Three mics. No, no it's probably three. yeah. Three that's probably less. less. Three. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it on record. How much is a mic? Well. Nine mics would equal 12 miles. Okay. Um, so what would that make it? One point, 1.3 of a mile. One mic, 1.3 of a mile. If they have the little ones in you've got to be careful and just walk around them. But even when they don't, they're just unpredictable. Yeah. They are very dangerous, there's like um, double figures every day. Which is
I like you say, keep your eyes peeled. Is that you keeping your eyes peeled? Okay. Actually, it's quite big, aren't they? I was saying that if they are treated nicely and you do not challenge them, they can be approached safely. There's so many. That's good. I used to go on walks at lunch break at work and they, they were in the field. They wouldn't bother anyone as long as you didn't bother them. Yeah. Well, we're almost at 11 miles. Such a wonderful view. How old is the castle? Wow! Well, I just got all the way back to where we had the phone call. Beautiful. And finally we are back. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me.